I'm Keisha Pandy, and if you're new, um, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and a big thumbs up, and don't forget to share. So today I'm going to be reading Owl Diaries. I love this book. I've heard so many good reviews about it, so I thought I'd read this book. Well, actually, it's a collection book. If you have any of these books, that's amazing. Make sure you um, make sure you can comment. Um, you can always um, comment down below. And yep, if you have one of these books. Well, let's get started. Oh, and before we do, before we do get started. I have these other books. So I have Happy Worm Hearts Day. Um, and I got Eva's Campfire Adventure and I got Eva um, Eva in the Spotlight. Hmm. So let's get started by by reading Eva's Treetop Festival. Hmm. And if you haven't subscribed and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you do, even if you're new. And notification bell. And share. And give a big like. Thumbs up. <laughs> so let's get started. Owl Diary. Eva's Treetop Festival by Rebecca Elliott Scholastic Ranch Book. Four books in one. Four books in one. This book belongs to Artesia or you can or me. <laughs> Owl Diaries Collection by Rebecca Elliott Scholastic um, Inc. and Branch. Diaries Collection Table of Contents Owl Diaries Eva's Treetop Festival by Rebecca Elliott season right now. I have to sneeze. There's here's the table of contents and this and this book it has eleven chapters and I'll be reading the whole story. Chapter 1 Meet Eva. Tuesday. Hello, diary. My name is Eva Wingdale. I live at Treehouse 11 on Wood Pine Avenue in Treetopolis. Wood Pine Avenue. Alright. I love you, my new diary. Drawing colors, especially red. Making stuff, the word pumpkin, cool clothes, school, Treetop Elementary, being busy. Like, look at her. She's so, she wants to be so busy. She loves it. All right. And let's start. Wait a second. I do not love my brother Humphrey's stinky socks. Yuck. Oh, so stinky. I wouldn't like stinky socks either. I agree with Eva. Ugh. Sue Clawson. She is really mean. Same you. Cleaning my beak. Ugh, I don't want to clean my beak. Ugh. Yeah, but we have to to keep our clean, to keep our teeth clean. Yeah, Sue. 
end the word plop. And asking for help, what's A plus true? Oh, I should have studied squirrels. Ah, oh, come back here. Mom loves sandwiches. Yuck. I don't like slug sandwiches either. Being bored. Ah, uh, what should I do? I'm so bored. Like, I, I don't want to be bored either. But, yeah. Oh, and I'm an owl. Owls are super cool. We're awake in the nighttime. We're asleep in the daytime. We can turn our heads almost all the way around. And we can fly. Here is my owl family. Dad, me, Humphrey, Mom, and Baby Mo. And here's my pet bat, Baxter. He's so cute. Such a cute guy. <laughs> And baby Mo looks so cute. And so cute. And so is Baxter. My very best friend in the whole Owlverse is Lucy Bigman. Lucy lives in the tree next door to mine. We have sleepovers all the time. And you see that sentence had a rhyme. Rhymes again. Just the time. I like when it rhymes. <laughs> so funny. And fun. Lucy also sits next to me at school. Here's a photo of her class. Miss Featherbottom, Macy, Zach, Carlos, Jaga, George, Lily, Lucy, me, Zara, and Sue. My class. Oh no, I'm late for school. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. I love all the detailed stuff. I love all the detailed stuff on the pictures and maze. Chapter 2. Bored. Bored. A board. B O R E D. Bored. Like, she is so bored. Wednesday. When I got home from school today, I did the same things I always do. I took Baxter for a fly. I ate a snack. I did my Wingless homework. I did arts and crafts. I made this cool bead bracelet. Nice bead bracelet, Eva. Impressive. Impressive work. I tried a new outfit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a fashion show going on. I had a fight with Humphrey. He left his stinky socks in my bedroom again. He is such a squirrel head. But after all that, I still had hours to go before sunrise. I had nothing to do. And in this picture, this page, on page 19, Humphrey's like, yeah, I don't care, I don't care. I don't care if I just blah, blah, leave my socks in your room. And Eva's like, your stinky socks, you mean? Ugh, you should be cleaning these. That's what Eva's like, like, ew, get them away from me. I called Lucy. Lucy, I am so bored. Can you come over? Sorry, I can't. Tomorrow is the first day of spring, so my mom and I have planned for flowers. Flowers? Spring? Lucy, you are a genius. Huh? I am? Okay, then. Gotta go. Bye, Eva. Thank goodness for Lucy. She just gave me the most fat floppy fabulous idea i need to brainstorm i'll be back okay diary i've been thinking and thinking now i have the best plan ever but there's no time to tell you i'm off to bed i cannot wait to tell lucy and you all about it tomorrow Chapter 3, 
Miss Featherbottom. Thursday. Hi, Diary. I told Lucy about my big plan on her flight to school tonight. Bloomtastic Festival! I am going to organize the bet, the first ever Treetop Elementary Bloomtastic Festival! It's going to be feather flapping good. There will be fun contests, a, a talent show, a bake-off, a fashion show, and an art show, and I'll make prizes. So these are all the contests. Entry, art, a fashion show, um, art, fashion, singing, and um, um, and bakery, right? Okay. Lucy really liked my idea. Wow, Eva, that sounds flaptastic. When will you ask Miss Featherbottom about it? Tonight, but I'm a bit scared. She won't like my idea. Oh, Eva, she'll love it. It sounds like a lot of work, but it is a great idea. I went to see Miss Featherbottom, our teacher, as soon as we got to class. We always celebrate holidays in our classroom, but I was thinking, because today is the first day of spring, our class could have a spring festival. And I'd like to organize it, if that's okay. Miss Featherbottom didn't say anything, so I kept talking. I, I told her about the contests and the prizes. The Bloomtastic Festival, the festival would be called the Bloomtastic Festival because spring is when flowers come out or um, bloom. This festival would be all about flowers. Finally, Miss Featherbottom smiled. A spring festival is a fabulous idea, Eva. What a hoot. And yes, you may be in charge, but please, dear, don't take on too much yourself. Share the work. Oh, and the festival can be next Thursday. We will give out your prizes next Friday. That's ex pretty exciting. Uh-oh, diary. Next Thursday is only a week away. How will I get everything done in time? But I'm just so very happy that Miss Featherbottom liked my idea. Yay! I told Lucy everything right before class. Lucy, guess what? Miss Featherbottom loved my idea. That's not work, Eva. But I only have seven days to get everything ready. Where do I start? Where do I start? Make a to-do list. Then you'll know what you need to get done. Lucy is the best friend ever. She always knows what to do. As soon as I got home, I wrote my to-do list. One, paint the, paint the set for the talent show. Two, set up for the bake-off, three, hang frames for the art show, four, build a runway for the fashion show, fashion show, five, make prizes. This is a great long list. I know one thing, diary. I won't be bored anymore. Yay! I'm off to sleep now. Good day! She's going to be really busy. Chapter 4, Mimi McMeanerson. Friday. Tonight was not a good night. First, Miss Featherbottom told our class about the festival. She's getting nervous. I can tell. The Bloomtastic Festival will be next Thursday. 
there will be four, four contests for you to enter. And I will be giving out prizes next Friday. Then she asked me to come up front. I was a bit nervous as I flew up there. I told everyone how the festival is all about flowers. Then I told them where to sign up for the contest. Everything was going well. Awesome! Great idea, Eva! But then, Sue Clawson said something really bossy. It's not good to be bossed around by mean people. Growls by this case. Why are you in charge, Eva? Who made you, you festival queen? My wings got all shaky. Everyone was looking at me. I did not like it. I'm in charge of the festival because... Uh, <laughs> it was my idea. And I want everyone to have fun. I don't want anyone else to have to worry about getting things ready. Well, I should be in charge of the fashion show. My mom is a fashion designer. I got that taken care of, but thank you, Sue. I flew back to my seat. I can tell Sue is not a nice owl so far. Sue is always sticking her beak into my business. And she is always so mean. Her name should be Meanie McMeanerson. Meanie McMeanerson, 100, 555. One time, Sue told me my mom makes stinky sandwiches. This is true, but she still should have said it. Then Miss Featherbottom stood up. Settle down, everyone. I'm sure Eva will ask for some help. And I want you all to have Sue's excellent, helpful attitude. You're, you're setting a wonderful example, Sue. Thank you. After I organized this amazing festival, I hope Miss Featherbottom will say something nice like that about me, too. diary my night got even worse after that sue walked over to me at lunch good luck building the runway on your own eva you're going to need it ah meanie mcminerson is such a meanie before bed i tried not to think about what sue had said i'm sure i can build a great runway runway right diary now I'm worrying about everything I, I have to do about I have to do for the festival. This will be a busy weekend. Sleep tight diary. Now she's worrying about the runway, the bake off, the talent show, and the art show. She's worrying about all the contests right now. Four of them. Chapter five. Practice makes perfect. Saturday. Today I started to paint the talent show set. Lucy came over to keep me company and to work on our contest entries. Since I'm planning the festival, I won't be entering the contest, so I wanted to help Lucy. I gave her I gave her my yummiest cupcake recipe for the bake off. Eva scrummy cupcakes. <laughs> Yummy, making me water my mouth. One cup bird seed, one cup flour, one cup acorns, two slugs. I wouldn't add that in my cupcake. Cupcake recipe. Maybe I'm not starting to get my water mouth, my mouth water. Ah! Mix every, mix everything together. Bake for twenty minutes. Let cupcakes cool. Put loads of icing on top. Icing on top. Enjoy. I promise to help. I promise to help her bake after school 
on Wednesday. That way, her cupcakes will be super fresh for Thursday's contest. This cupcake recipe doesn't seem normal at all. It does not. So two slugs in it? Gross! But it, this is an owl book, so yeah. Next, I helped Lucy choose an outfit for the fashion show. Then she painted a picture of her pet, Slithered Rex, for the art show. That was such a hoot. I drew a picture of Baxter wearing a bunny costume, too. And an outfit for the fashion show. And um, trying out for the art show. Nice picture. Just before bed, I helped Lucy practice some dance moves for the talent show. Baxter really liked their moves. Humphrey did not. Ha! <laughs> you two look like a couple of crazy flamingos doing a cha-cha. He is such a squirrel head. I didn't finish painting the set today, but I am all day tomorrow, so don't worry, diary. I... So, so don't worry, diary. Any hoot. This festival is going to be great. I believe in you, Eva. <laughs> chapter 6. Time flies. And by the way, there's five more chapters after this, so look at this. Sunday. Hi, Diary. I am awake super early. I haven't finished the talent show set yet, but I want to start building the runway today. I'll show Sue that I can do this on my own. I also have to make the prizes for the festival. They're going to be so amazing. Eva! Uh-oh, Mom's calling me. I'll be back, Diary. I'm back. Humphrey and I spent the night with Granny Alberta and, Granny Al and Grandpa Alfred. Granny, Grandpa. It was great to see them, but it's almost daytime already. I haven't gotten anything done. Eek! And now the phone is ringing. Lucy calls me to see how I'm doing with my to-do list. Not great, Lucy. I've been just so busy. Feathering flocks, Eva. The Bloomtastic Festival is only four days away. Are you sure you don't want any help? Are you sure you don't want any help? Thanks, Lucy, but I still think I'll be okay. Time flew this weekend. Yeah, it's really true. <laughs> Anyways, time flew this weekend. Sorry, I can't write more diary. But I have to make the prizes before bed. Gotta fly. Bye. Granny Alberta and Granny Al and Grandpa Alfred. Chapter 7. Too who much to do. Monday. Ah! This the festival is only three days away. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, going to Granny and Grandpa's house. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, festival. And yep, I've been so busy helping Lucy and creating the best prizes ever that nothing else is ready. But the prizes are finished. And I can't wait for everyone to see how cool they look. Diary, you know I wanted to do this festival all on my own, but I need some help. Actually, a lot of help. I'm going to talk to Lucy after school. I'll write more later. So look, she has three more days to get this thing, to get that finished. So today is Monday. She only has three days. She has one, 
two and three. Marks here marks the spot. The festival. Who's that festival? Lucy was a big help. Well, sort of. We painted half of the town, she said, but our wings got tired. Um, I know. We tried to hang the frame for the art show, but we couldn't reach. Wow. I would be needing lots of help if I was if I planned this festival. We planned a flower shaped table designed for the bakehouse, but we didn't start building the table. We even started building the runway, but it's a really big job. Look at all the hard work Lucy and Eva are doing. But I think they'll be needing lots more help than that. So we have a lot left to do. One, finish painting the, the town show set. Two, hang the frame for the art show. Three, build the flower-shaped table for the bake-off. Four, finish building the runway for the fashion show. Lucy, I just don't have enough points to do everything. Don't worry, Eva. We'll figure something out. Oh, Diary, will we have to cancel the festival? No way, you're not canceling that festival, Eva, no. That's, like... Orchard. Chapter 8. A Helping Wing. Tuesday. When I woke up today, I thought about how sad everyone would be if I canceled the festival. Then I thought about what Miss Everbottom had said when I first told my her, her my idea. Share the work. Share the work. Share the work. Look at all the shaped faces there. Eva canceled the festival. All those sad faces will show up. I don't want that. Just in case Eva couldn't see, see it. There we go. Finally, diary, I know what I have to do. I was so silly to think that I could do all of this work on my own. No one could. There are so many talented owls in my class. I just have to ask for help. Wish me luck, diary. I'll write again after school. I thought about who was good at what in my class. Then I asked my classmates to help with the parts of the festival they'd be best at. To, sur to my surprise, everyone actually wanted to help. We all had fun together, too. George, Carlos, and Zara are the best painters in the class. So I asked them to paint the talent show set. Zach and Macy are the tallest owls in the class. So I asked them to hang the frame for the art show. Back to my hard work and to my painting classes. Look at all that. Eva's smart. She's not giving up. She's always trying. That's what I like about this book. Love about it. <laughs> Lily and Jacob are good at building things. So I asked them to make the table for the bake-off. They loved Lucy's and my flower design. I still need help with the runway. But Sue was out today. She had to go to the Aladon Fest. I must ask for her help tomorrow. But I'm so nervous. Lucy, I'm scared of asking Sue for help. What if she laughs at me? What if she says something mean? What if she says no? There's no way to know what Sue will say. Just be the lovely, fluffy hoot of an owlet that you are and see what happens. But tomorrow's the day before the festival. If Sue says no and the runway is not ready, we'll have to cancel the fashion show. Alright. <laughs> Chapter. 
chapter 9, an odd day. Wednesday, I spoke to Sue. Here is what happened. Um, Sue? Yeah? I was just wondering if you might want to help, um, help build a runway. Yes, would that be okay? Of course, I was hoping you'd ask me for help. I could not believe that Sue said yes. She smiled at me. She just smiled at me, kind of. Then she helped me build the runway after school. Later, Lucy came over. We baked her cupcakes for the Bake Off contest. And we made a flower on and we made a flower on top of each cupcake. After the after we made the flower cupcakes, we had a fun we had a flower fight. It was really fun. It's been an odd day, but a good one. And I cannot believe that tomorrow is the big day, diary. Eek! Same here. Chapter 10, The Festival, Thursday. Hello, Diary. Today's festival was a huge success for everyone. Bloomtastic Festival. Just not for me. I spent the day running around to make sure everything was going okay, but everything went wrong. Lucy's cupcakes did not look like pretty flowers. He had frosted the cupcakes when they were still hot. The frosted, the frosting melted, and now they looked like loopy snot balls. Yuck! Ew. No one wants to try snot cupcakes. Next, I saw that my just for fun. Painting of Baxter had been hung up in the art show. Lucy's was nowhere to be seen. She must have turned in my painting by accident. Oh, Lucy, no one was go no one was supposed to see mine. Baxter looked like a crazy alien. That's actually not that true. Later at the talent show, I tripped and landed on Miss Featherbottom. Um, hope you're enjoying the show. The fashion show was the last contest, and I walked out on stage with my with my dress tucked into my underpants. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Really embarrassing. that area because you don't want to get Eva in too embarrassed. Oh, the whole festival was so feather flappingly embarrassing. I'm sure everyone thinks I'm a total squirrel head. After my feather bottom gives out the contest prizes tomorrow, I hope that I never have to hear about this festival again. Chapter 11, the last chapter. Blooming fabulous! Friday, I went to class early to drop off the contest prizes. Then I tried to hide from everyone because she's embarrassed. No, more happened on stage. Fashion show. Fashion show. I don't want to, but she's so embarrassed. Miss Featherbottom started hooting. The first Bloomtastic Festival was truly fabulous. Now, I will announce the contest winners. Talent show winner, Macy. Best cupcakes, Lily. Best painting, George. Best outfit, Zach. Everyone liked the prizes I made. But I felt bad that Lucy didn't win. I never should have helped her with those cupcakes. 
Then Miss Featherbottom asked me to come up front. I thought she was going to screech at me for me for showing my underpants. But instead, she gave me a special prize. Thank you, Eva, for working so hard and for getting the whole class to work together. We couldn't have had this amazing festival without you. I was so happy, but I knew that it wouldn't be right to take the prize. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept this trophy. Can all of my classmates come up here, please? My classmates flew up front. Lucy stood next to me. Best Spring Festival Organizer. This festival this festival never would have happened without the help of all of you. We all took turns holding the trophy. Miss Featherbottom smiled. Everyone hooted and cheered. Even Sue. Everyone's dancing. Wow, even Sue, even though she's mean. Diary, it was the best feeling ever. Now I just need to think of my next project. Hmm, how soon can I start planning a summer festival? Owl Diary, how much do you know about Eva's treetop festival? Name some cool owl facts. Eva creates the word loontastic. This word is made of this word is made up of two real words, bloom and fantastic. What do you think loontastic means? Does Eva think this festival is a success? Why or why not? How does Eva feel about me at the end at the beginning of the story and at the end? What does Eva learn about teamwork? What do you, what you, would you want to take part in the fashion show, talent show, art show, or bake off? Use words and pictures. To, use words and pictures to describe what sh what you would do. Scholastic.com slash branches. Alright, that's the end of the story. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, most importantly. And thank you um, for listening. Now,